It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Ottawa Hills has rebounded from a week one loss in dominant fashion and looks to keep rolling this week against Mason. The pigskin professor breaks down the matchup in tonight's edition of Jules Gems. Brandon Carter's Ottawa Hills Green Bears. Three and one and really starting to roll right now are going to be hosting the Tri-County Conference Participant Erie Mason Eagles. Ottawa Hills has all playmaking weapons back from last year's record-setting 11-2 squad. Those guys were all on full display last week. A rock solid 37-30 win over Port Clinton. Chase Miller runs the offense, and he was 16 for 21, 247 yards and three touchdowns. A balanced attack that can sling it all over the field, but it forces you to respect the run first. Rocco Pillarelli leads that. And last week, he rushed for 196 yards. Nick Anderson, Jackson Snyder, and Reddick Pillarelli form a brilliant receiving core. They are game breakers. But last week, not about stats, as much as resiliency, toughness, and response. Seven lead changes, high intensity football with physical and emotional waves throughout. The Green Bears simply outlasted and outplayed Port Clinton in the fourth quarter, and that's a great sign. Snyder's interception to seal the deal is one of BCSN's plays of the year, and the passion with which Ottawa Hills played caught my attention. Last year, I thought that incredible game with TCC champion Whiteford was a turning point, even with a loss at the finish. But this year, in week four, the Green Bears displayed all the toughness necessary to close out Port Clinton. Big tests out of conference can tell you a great deal about yourself. The Green Bears looking to get going in that second half of the season.